Hi guys, Edita Sitar from Laundry Basket Quilts. How are you? I am so excited to be here at Fat Quarter Shop Studio to prepare a beautiful block of the month for you. We are on block uh, on month number three. This month you had a choice. You get to choose if you would like to do a pieced block or applique block. We just finished this beautiful pieced block and this one is Be Mine. What a wonderful variety of a log cabins just spilling right through the middle. In case you don't want to do this block, your heart is set on a little bit of applique. I have another block for you. Let me show it to you. This one, you will be growing in love. We're gonna start by selecting our fabrics and we're gonna need light for a background. We're gonna need a touch of red, uh, pinks, and you can use all different scraps. Maybe some leftovers from previous blocks would also be nice to incorporate in this one. We're gonna be cutting branches, leaves, and hearts. In case you don't want to do the cutting and preparation, how I'm going to show you, we also have a delightful pre-cut pieces. And this package is enough for the whole quilt. So you can just purchase the package and there's plenty of leaves and branches to do a whole quilt. This is a wonderful option because the fusible webbing is already on the back. We also have it for our hand appliques, uh, appliqueers. This one called Silhouettes. And for hand applicators, you need snippets. Snippets have a quarter inch seam allowance. Silhouettes have a fusible webbing on it. Okay, in case you wanna prepare your own pieces, this is how you're going to do. You're gonna need a design and in the book you have the design or you can use a stencil. You also need a fusible webbing. There are a variety of fusible webbings on the market. The one that I'm gonna use today, it's heat and bond light. That's the one I would like you to use it for today. So what I'm going to do, I place my fusible webbing paper up. I'm going to take a stencil and I'm going to start drawing my designs. Hearts, leaves, branches. How do I draw it? I just place it right down. I take a pencil. Let me grab one right here. Oh, this one is perfect. And draw. Look at how nice I can draw in the stencil my hand is just sliding if you don't have the stencil just open the book and we have all of the pieces in the book for you so please pay attention that you're going to have to draw so many leaves and some of the pieces are reversed notice the heart you can draw it this way notice it this side of the heart is bigger or there is the second one where the other side of the heart is bigger. Okay, once you have all your pieces drawn beautifully, you're gonna take a small pair of scissors, and I have a wonderful scissors right here. And this scissors I use to cut all my pieces out. And when you're cutting your pieces, make sure you leave at least one eight around the edges one eight around the edges once you have cut your pieces you're gonna select fabric and you're gonna place the fusible down fusible down using a iron iron it on to fuse it in place. Remember, when you do fusible webbing, you do not want to overheat. So when you're pressing, your setting should be on cotton and should be no steam. Gently press it down. As soon as you press it down, you're going to cut. And I like to use a scissors and I cut exactly on the lines. And you want to make nice, long, smooth, beautiful cuts. Look at this, beautiful cuts. Do not cut with the tips of your scissors. You're going to make a little ragged edges. If you're making nice, long, smooth cuts, you're going to get a really beautiful edges. Look at this. But in case you don't want to cut, I have all of those pieces prepared for you in a package. Your next step is going to be cut your background and your background needs to be nine and a half 
unfinished. If you would like to, you can always cut a little bit bigger, especially for applique. It's nice to do that because when your applique is finished, you can trim it down to nine and a half unfinished. Then start opening your package pieces and the ones that we made it, you gently crease the edge and you're gonna start positioning them in the right places and you're gonna ask me where do I put my pieces I like to use a light table and in the book you're gonna find a page where you have a full layout of the block so open the book and in the book right there on the page let me show you that you will find a full layout full layout notice this mark right here. I wanted to bring this to your attention. When I first position my background, I crease it, crease it again, just like this, and I match this X with the creases, so that way I can see. Can you see through this? I like to have a light table, but you can, when you're up close, you can really see the hearts, my leaves and all of the things that I need to position down. I have started my block already and I am so excited to share it with you. So look at this. I will crease the edges, position my pieces. Oh, this is coming beautifully. This is gonna be a fun block. Mm, so excited about it. Here, a little leaf and another one and you can do that it's so much fun this laser cut pieces are so nice because when a laser cuts it burns gently the edges so they don't fray as much and notice i have a steam seam on it so it has a little sticky onto it so i can position the whole block make sure you stay away at least half an inch from the edges because you need the room to trim it and to stitch a, 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 to your quarter inch seam allowance. And keep going like this and you will position all of the leaves. Oh, I need a one more leaf right here. And once you have all of the pieces in place, again, press it with an iron. And once you press it, you are ready for stitches. And I have made a few of the blocks already for you. And I just want to remind you, pay attention to your blocks. There are four blocks going one direction and four blocks going the other direction. So you have blocks that spin to the right and blocks to spin to the left. And that's why we had to reverse some of the hearts back and forth. Your stems and your leaves don't have to be reversed, but your hearts need to be done that way because it will allow you to position the blocks in the right direction. Once you fuse it, now you need to choose which kind of stitches you would like to put around the edges and we have an excellent selection of Auroville threads for this kind of uh, fusible applique I recommend an embroidery needle it really does help to uh, stitch around the fusible webbing so it doesn't pull and um, Goog up your needle. If your needle is getting low sticky, make sure you wipe it with an alcohol wipe. Very important. And I usually wipe it before even start getting gooked up. I clean my needle and keep stitching and you have multiple options. You can use a zigzag stitch, blanket stitch, satin stitch or straight stitch and go around the edges. In this case, I did something different. I was a little shy and I used a cotton thread in a bobbin from Aurofil, from our box, but on the top, I used this new thread because it's a fun technique and I wanna learn something different. Wonderful, and I use a thread right here, that light beige, and notice I made a little zigzag around the edge. I enjoyed it so much and it feels nice and soft. So I didn't use 
uh, a nylon invisible thread this is a really nice thread and it felt really fun and I learned something different and exciting so maybe you want to try that as well so this is how you are going to make this block and as soon as you are finished now you are ready to put it into the quilt and in this case we have our log cabin so you don't see the applicate block but those block would have gone right in here into the quilt and that's something that maybe you start thinking about if you want to replace some blocks make some more of one or the other it's so easy to add it to it Thank you so much for stopping by and making another block with me. I look forward to see you next month for our block number four.